Okay, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Ductal carcinoma in C2, uh, fibroadenoma, um, inflammatory bowel, <laughs> breast cancer, uh, invasive ductal carcinoma, or invasive lobular carcinoma? Okay. A 48-year-old woman presents to the gynecologist for her annual checkup. On physical examination, a poorly defined mass is detected on her right breast. Uh, a, mam a mammogram reveals a subtle area of architectural distortion and a subsequent biopsy is performed. Histological pa histopathological examination shows infiltrating neoplastic cells in a linear fashion with a lack of e cadherin expression. Um, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Okay, I always think about like a linear fashion with infiltrating um, as like um, individual line. And so I think of that as IL. So invasive lobular carcinoma is a little, little mnemonic for that. And that's invasive, yeah, infiltrating neoplastic cells in a linear fashion. I would probably say um, yes. And plus, I think of also LC as lacking cadherin. Um, and so I always think of that as a yes, uh, ILC. Okay. Okay. So working through this pretty well. Okay. So just kind of a little repetition here. So um, way I'm thinking about this, right? 48 year woman. So in my mind, middle-aged woman, right? Poorly defined mass in the right breast. When I read that, I'm already thinking it's cancer until proven otherwise, right? Um, it says area of architecture distorted. Um, and then of course your biopsy, which says infiltrating infiltrating yes. is not a good word when you're dealing with pathology okay no. so you're already thinking in your mind that it's probably uh cancer so i'm already thinking that it has to be right has to be one of these three correct yes okay now it gets to the fact of you, you're asking yourself okay which one of these three right so you remember kind of the you know linear fashion the e cadherin expression right these are going to be your specific symptoms right um so do I remember personally of breast path, uh, uh, histology? No, I don't. But you sound pretty confident. So probably correct here. Yep. So yeah. So I just want you to kind of the reason why I'm reiterating is so that, you know, um, teaching you kind of those overarching things of when you're working through questions, right? Yeah, Chronic thing, mass. right? Irregular mass, right? So things like that, yeah. that are cancer, it should be screaming cancer to you. Okay. Okay, Thanks. perfect. And also on top of that, right? Um, talking about a clinical standpoint, what does inflammatory breast cancer look like? Um, I would assume it's going to be more like literally inflammatory type of reaction. So it's going to be like maybe red, it's going to be hot, um, painful, um, things like this. I'm not yeah. entirely sure, but that's kind of what I would say. Sure. So inflammatory breast cancer has very specific, I mean, uh, how to say it's a very unique look um, so that I know you talked about kind of, you know, um, having issues with, you know, the breast diagnosis and things like that. But one of the things, like you said, you can remember as inflama inflammation, that's a good way to remember. It will be red, but do you remember that French word pew de orange, right? It looks like oh, a yes. yeah, little dimpling, right? Um, and it's because it's inflamed and you have kind of those ligaments pulling the skin in. So it's going to pucker kind of like an orange though. That's going to be really your inflammatory breast tissue cancer. Okay? okay. Invasive ductal. I cannot remember. I know there's you know, some stuff with, so with that. Breast. I always think about more along the lines of like calcifications. Yeah. Spiculated margins. Yeah. Um, spiculated margins. Yeah. And so I always think about like calcifications with that. And that's kind of, this is also, I think why I do not necessarily the best on these is because I I'm dependent on buzzwords. Sure. Like, sure. Linear fashion. It has to, if I didn't say calcifications, I do not know. You sure. Know? Um, sure. So I would yeah. say that I would say that sometimes, you know, um, it does come down to pathology, right? Because, you know, some cancers clinically look like just any kind of cancer, right? And so, yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you have to memorize kind of those um, so biopsy results, right? Or the, the histology of it. So, yeah.